Great night at Ball Arena for the Colorado Avalanches. They won their fifth game in a row. They won 5-4 over the Ottawa Senators. Kovalenko got his first NHL goal. He said afterwards he has no idea where he's going to put the puck. Uh, maybe it's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it is a big deal to be on a, a team that supports you, that um, helps develop young guys and, and has things going. Ross Colton with another goal. McKinnon with an empty netter. Jared Bednar actually said the big guns weren't playing that well. In fact, at one point, he even split up Makar and Taze because Malinsky was playing better and Gerard was playing well. And, you know, they just sort of mixed things up. It was interesting talking to Bedsy after the game because how do you go from losing four in a row to winning five in a row? And his answer was, well, this actually does happen all the time. It just doesn't happen usually at the beginning of the season. There are just runs where you hit a bit of a you know soft spot, and then you go on runs where you probably win games that you shouldn't win. This game was quirky, man. It was 2-1 to one with 10 minutes to go, and it finished 5-4. to four. So, you know, it finished good enough, and they'll take the win. They have their first back-to-back -back with Chicago in town uh, tomorrow night, and we probably, I would assume, we'll see Georgie back in net on a back-to-back, -back, that would make the most sense. So we'll see if he can snap out of it. You know, uh, Bednar did reference that the goaltending was an issue in those four losses. We all know it was, the Islanders game in particular. Okay, fine. You know, you're starting the season all over and now you're five and four. So great rebound for the Avalanche. So <laughs> it is interesting, just it, I, I can't help but see some of the similarities um, between Sean Payton being so upset with how they won the game today because Bednar did acknowledge that you can slip into bad habits if you're winning games and you're not winning them the right way. It can bite you in the ass, you know, later on down the line. And, and I, I do think that's what Sean Payton was inferring, you know, earlier today over there at uh, Empower Field. But for the Avs, hey man, it's, it's kind of this just breath of um, relief that, hey, we figured it out, we've won five in a row, we have some of the greatest players on earth, and guess what? Dren will be back. He was skating um, in the morning skate today, red sweater, okay. Lekkonen's not even wearing the red sweater. I saw him after the game. He's looking fine, he looked fine during the morning skate. He'll, he'll be back soon enough. Um, and then Val's going to be back. Val is going to be back whenever the suspension gets lifted, whether that's in, I don't know, man, two, three, four weeks. But he'll, he'll be returning as well. Don't know about Gabe, obviously. Um, we'll see. But you're shaking it out. You're getting better goaltending overall. Um, there's a better sense of confidence with everything going on. And you get yourself a W, so it feels good. Feels good, man. Even though there were some sloppy moments in the end, you know, there were a couple goals late when they pulled their goalie, and it's just like, all right, let's just, you know, get this done. They, you know, Senators scored um, two goals with an empty net. Not great. Uh, scoring a goal with eight seconds left. Not great. But you take a win. A win is a beautiful thing. And the Avs got it tonight with Chicago in town tomorrow. All right, kill you with truth. Good night. Good night for the Avs, good night for the Broncos, good night.